prepared a couple of them already, but I'll do one in front of you. Okay, I usually start off with this. I use a double skewer method so it doesn't roll over. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start off with some of these little goodies. They're very good. Okay, um, I'm going to start off with a colored pepper. We're going to do a yellow. I try to keep them the same length so it's easy cooking. I'm going to put onion, because I love to have the onion taste on the beef. I'm going to put my beef. Okay. And it's strictly, you do what you want. I mean, it's, it's really no method to it. As far as I'm concerned, it's, it's just doing it. And, and, Beef. Mmm. Let's put um, another green. Go over to yellow. And I'll put another onion. And I'll put another beef. Pretty much cut everything the same size when I do this. Um, that, that's preference. Let's see here. I got this nice little piece here. Oh yeah. Another. Let's get a uh, red one in there, huh? What do you say? Gonna have some red. And another piece of beef. That's a nice piece. That's gonna go well. Put another onion. Yeah, we'll go with that. That's a little small. I guess I can get it out at my turn, but we'll take a chance on that. Okay. We're gonna start with another piece of beef. And I'm gonna put a pepper. Okay. Now the, uh, the next part is to skewer this. I line it all up. As I'm doing it, I'm going to rotate it a little bit. Line it all up. Feed it. You can feel it going through that. And there you go. Okay, it's a little bit out of the angle, but oh well. My, my, it's not going to fall off. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Now my grill is preheating. Okay, I'm just going to wash my hands a little bit. I'm eating it, I'm not worried about the contamination, okay, too much, okay, I'm going to cover what I have left, and my grill should be hot enough, okay, let's check this out, almost, crank it up a little bit more, we're going to get the temp up there, meanwhile, what I'm going to do, Put some rice on my grill to keep warm it up a little bit. This shouldn't take too long. Now, I marinated them last night in a garlic and herb marinade with vinegar and uh, a little bit of water, a little bit of sugar, not much. 
And that was it. I just wanted to tenderize them a little bit and give them a, a little flavor. And I also put some garlic in there, which is real important, okay? Uh, if you're a garlic lover, I love garlic. All right, now the oven's heating up here. And we're ready to drop them on. Okay, my griddles should be nice and hot. Mm-hmm. And they might sear a little bit. I want to get that flavor going. Okay. So here we go. Okay. sizzle up. Just going to give them a little bit of something extra here. Okay, which is my usual smokehouse maple. Okay. This this just adds a little bit. And I'm going to rotate them in a second. And we're going to put some more smokehouse maple on them. And we're just going to let them cook for a little bit, okay? So, with this, we're going to let them cook now. We'll let them simmer. It's going to warm up, and then we'll be ready to plate this, okay? So, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, okay? They've been searing now probably about 10 minutes low heat. Now it's time to put my fruit on. I like to have a little bit of fruit with this. What I chose to have today was mango. Love mango. So we're going to do a grilled mango, okay? We're going to do just a nice grilled mango. We're going to put that there. And we're going to go one, two, three. They're not going to take long. It's not going to take long at all, so we'll do that. And the beef looks like it's good. I'm going to turn this one. The others look like they're doing good. Rotate them a little bit. Quarter turn. I'm doing quarter turns. Okay. Push this back in. that be for a few minutes, okay? The mango's not going to take long at all. We can lower the heat just a little bit. Everything's going to be... And, we're going to put a little smokehouse on this again. Just 
just a little bit. We'll put some flavors in there again. Spice up the flavors a little bit, you know? Yeah. Mm. When we prep this, we're going to put this over a plate of rice. Okay? And I usually do that. I like my rice. It's good for you. too hot. Doesn't take much to heat that up. So. And we're going. Okay. Now for the next few minutes, what I'm going to do is shut off my end burner. I'm going to turn on the other side. We're going to maintain our heat. We're going to maintain our heat. But, it's going to be indirectly cooking because they're almost done. And I don't want to cook too much on those. Turn them, turn them, turn them, turn them. you got to keep turning them. Very important. Okay, let's close it for another minute or two. And it's almost done. Now, don't forget when it marinates, it partially cooks your meat because I let it marinate overnight. So it's been going marinate probably about 12 hours, which is pretty good. Okay. We'll lower that one. And we're good for that. we got to check this again because it's got fruit. Fruit don't take long at all. I, I don't want to cook it. I just want to warm it up a little bit. Get some juices going. Mango is one of my favorites. ready to plate this, okay? So I'm going to get my rice ready, and we'll plate. Meat, mango, everybody says, ah, ah mango. Interesting. That mango is good for you. It's tasty. I'll put that in my salvage box here. It's always safe to have. It's hot. Okay, let's see. We're going to beat this one. We're going to go lengthwise.
not going to be fancy about this, okay? This one is good to go. Remember, it's not all cooked, okay? I mean, the mangoes are not cooked. They're just warmed up. Shut this off. This, I'm just going to let sit here a little bit more. Okay. This is a person later in the day when I eat this. <clears throat> some maybe a little crispy okay so here you go Mike shish kebab okay Mike shish kebab with rice it's a tomato rice and served with grilled mango so enjoy I hope you try it someday and I'm gonna try mm. Couldn't wait for that. Grilled mango. All right. So, it works out well. And you know, thank you and have a good day. Shish kebab beef with the tomato rice and grilled mango. Mmm, mmm. Tasty.